So you recall that several weeks ago, the National Review fired one of its writers who had been writing for them for 12 years. And over the years, this guy had written stuff that some of us whining lefties claim sounds a little bit racist or a lot of bit racist or very misogynist. And finally, the National Review fired him for a piece he published, uh, I guess it was about a month ago, that was unequivocally, not to say that the other ones were equivocally racist, but one that was even that much more sort of sensitive because it was in response to the Trayvon Martin shooting. And he had written basically instructing parents on how to train their children more or less on how to be racists. And so he was fired. Remember, this is a guy who wrote for the National Review for 12 years. And somehow they didn't notice that this guy was such a racist. Everybody else did. And now uh, Derbyshire, writing on the white nationalist site vdare.com, the enemies of conservatism are eager to supply their own nomenclature. White supremacist seems to be their current favorite. It is meant maliciously, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, to bring up images of fire hoses, attack dogs, pick handles, to imply that conservatives, especially non-mainstream conservatives, are cruel people with dark thoughts. Leaving aside the intended malice, Derbyshire writes, I actually think white supremacy is not bad semantically. White supremacy in the sense of a society in which key decisions are made by white Europeans is one of the better arrangements history has come up with. <laughs> there have, of course, been some blots on the record. Just like a few. Uh, a few like uh, those wars where all those millions of people were killed. Then, um, what's that blot to the oh, Holocaust and uh, oh, the, the Nagasaki and uh, we dropped that nuclear weapon, uh, the atomic bomb, and uh, the Iraq. And, uh, there's some blots. Look, we've made some mistakes. We're going to move on, accept some measure of responsibility, but not let it get in our way. There have been, of course, some blots on the record, but I don't see how it can be denied that net-net white Europeans have made a better job of running fair and stable societies than has any other group. Stalin considered a uh, white European? Hmm? I don't know. Uh, for 12 years, this guy writes the magazine, and they are just shocked find out 